All right. So we've got an all new floating icon sitting on the screen here. As you can see, when I tap on this, it offers an all new window here. On this window, we have got various icons which offer some specific functions which can be carried out by just tapping on that. Let me just show you how. We've got recent home and back button here. We've got screen off button. When I tap on that, the screen will turn off. And then we have got volume button. When I tap on this, we can access the volume bars here. We can also tap on mute, vibrate and sound option right from this window. Then we have screenshot option. I can just tap on this to take the screenshot. When I swipe to the right, we have got a few more options here. We have got notification panel, pinch to zoom, power off menu and we have got this cursor. When I tap on cursor, we have got this touchpad and cursor on the screen. As you can see, I can move this cursor and I can just place on any applications or this widget. When I tap on it, I can access the widget. Likewise, I can open any other applications as well. I can also move the screen to left and right and I'll also be able to scroll up and down by tapping on this arrow here. Let me just close it. Apart from this, we also have menu settings here and screen control here. Now these are the options we get on this particular window and that is not it. We can also customize it and add some more functions here. So how did I get this floating window on the screen? That's what we are going to look at in this video. If you are someone who is new on the channel, make sure to subscribe to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications, Galaxy watches and anything related to technology. If you find this video useful, make sure to smash that like button as well. Now let's get rolling. Let's tap on settings, scroll down and tap on accessibility and then interaction and dexterity. Here we have got a switch to enable assistant menu. So this is the assistant menu which will come onto your home screen when you enable this particular switch. And if you tap on this assistant menu, we've got an all new menu option here. So this particular menu will enable us to customize the floating assistant menu. When we tap on select assistant menu items, there are some additional items which can be added to the assistant menu. Let's go back. We also have an option to select apps to show contextual menus. So when you use a selected app here, the assistant menu will show contextual options specific to that particular app. So here we have got options like camera, contacts, messages, phone, Samsung internet and settings. Uh, I have enabled camera and contacts option here. Now when I open contacts and then when I tap on assistant menu, it is going to show me options like search, create contact and delete. So these are the contextual options specific to contacts app which is shown up here. That will be handy if you want to directly access all these functions right from the assistant menu. Now I have enabled camera. Now when I open camera and when I tap on this assistant menu, it is going to show me switch camera option and gallery option. So we will be able to directly reach gallery from this. So that is how this whole thing works, right? Now next we have got replace swipe with single tap. When we enable this switch, we can respond to alarms, alerts and incoming calls by tapping instead of swiping. So we usually swipe to turn off our alarms. So instead you can just tap on the alarm to turn it off when you have enabled this particular switch here. So below this, we have got some customization options for this assistant menu. We can change the transparency and when we turn on this toggle here, we can place this icon on the edge of the screen. And then we have got assistant menu size. We can change the size to small or large depending on your preference. By default, it is at medium. So I have selected medium here. Apart from that, we also have some customization options for touchpad, cursor and magnifier settings. So there are a lot of customization options for assistant menu here. This is definitely a cool feature added by Samsung on the phone, which will definitely come in handy at times. Uh, for example, let's say your volume buttons are not working for any reason or your power button is not working for any reason. Then you can enable this assistant menu and carry out those functions. Likewise, there are many other functionalities which can be carried out using this assistant menu. So that's all I have here in this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button and to encourage me to come up with some cool contents for you guys. And do support the channel by smashing that subscribe button to become a part of Apex community. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.